To end this presentation, I want to take you on a virtual building tour of our college. <laughs> the first thing that I want to point out is, well, that our college is all over campus. So there is not a building that, well, there is a building that is the College of Sciences, but the College of Sciences is really spread out, including next door at Research Park and also at the downtown campus. So when you do have an opportunity to take that campus tour, here are some things to be on the lookout for. So first of all, I want to show you the biology and chemistry buildings. Within the biology building, you will find the biology department. So the faculty and advisors are within this building. As well, this building holds laboratory classrooms and several research labs and is home to the bug closet, a collection of over 430,000 insects and arthropods. In the chemistry building, this is where you're gonna find your organic chemistry labs and your chemistry fundamental labs, as well as several research labs and a number of faculty offices. This is not, however, where you're gonna find chemistry's main department. I'll point that out later. Mathematical sciences is where you will find the math department and you're gonna also find all of your faculty and advisors. In addition, the Math Emporium, where we teach those lower division courses, this is located on the first and second floor of this building. As well, the Math Success Center, that math tutoring center, that's located on, in this building on the first floor. Many other classrooms and some labs and advisors are also found within this building. Next, we have the Nicholson School of Communication and Media Building and the Psychology Building. So the Nicholson School of Communication and Media is actually split up between main campus and the downtown campuses. This is the building that's located on the main campus. Within this building are the communication main offices and many faculty are found here as well. And in addition, the radio, television, and journalism studios are found within this building. The advising offices are also here and downtown. The psychology building is the home of the psychology department, so you'll find the faculty and advisors and the main offices here, as well as several classrooms. In addition, the, um, the advising center, so the psychology advising center, is located on the second floor along with research labs and the Restores Clinic, which is the PTSD and Trauma Research Clinic. Technology Commons is first a facility where you're going to find expansive study spaces, state-of-the-art computer labs, and a student-focused computer support center. But in addition, on the second floor of Tech Commons is where you're going to find the Statistics and Actuarial Sciences Department. This is where the whole department is found, so you're going to find all your faculty and the advising offices within this building. Howard Phillips Hall is where you're going to find a couple of departments and a school. On the third floor, you're going to find the School of Politics, Security, and International Affairs and the Anthropology Department, along with all of their faculty and their respective advising offices. On the fourth floor is where you will find the sociology department and again, all of their faculty and advisors. This is a building that's primarily office space. You won't find very many classrooms in this building. Our newest building is the physical sciences building. Physical sciences houses our chemistry and physics main offices. Remember the chemistry building? Not where the chemistry department is. You're going to find it here. Um, so for both physics and chemistry, the main offices, so the primary advisors, are going to be found within this building. In addition, there are many faculty offices and multiple student study spaces, as well as a number of very interesting research labs. As I mentioned earlier, the downtown campus is where part of the Nicholson 
School of Communication and Media is found. They are, um, the human communication programs are located here on the downtown campus and the applied programs, the radio, TV, journalism are on the main campus. The human communication programs being downtown along with the film and digital media programs are all downtown. These are spread across a couple of buildings. Primarily within the communication and media building is where you're going to find a lot of the classes and the film and digital media facilities, including the maker space, which is an interactive space housing state-of-the-art gaming computers, 3D printers, and equipment that's used by the film and digital media students. Advising services are located on the lower floors of Union West, and many additional classes and classrooms are found in the Dr. Phillips Academic Commons. Finally, to end our tour, we're gonna end with the actual College of Sciences building. Now remember, none of the actual departments in our college are housed within this building. But what you will find are the College of Sciences Dean's Office and Staff, so that's where my office is, and then as well the College of Sciences Advising Services, or COSIS. And remember that this advising office is your place to start if you have questions and you don't know where to get the answer. So I wanna thank you for joining me for this presentation. I really hope that I was able to give you information and insights about our College of Sciences that help you make your decision to join UCF and to join a major within my college. Thank you very much, be well, and go Knights.